Come on here. Personally, that was my favorite candidate game yet. I agree with him. Cal, you coming around? Oh, baby. No, I'm messing with you. No, nah, that was, I would agree. I thought that was and his most And he's a most Sabotage 7 guy, too. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, you coming around to this one? Wait a minute now. But, no, nah, I, I do feel like most complete. And I thought that he handled adversity well. Now, the adversity wasn't based on the offense creating it. In that second half, it was more so the defense not getting some stops. But it was still good to see them when they needed to execute, they could. When they needed to get a first down, they could. They did all of the things, man. Even some of the shot plays that were schemed up. Granted, we missed a couple of them. But it's like, dude, these were schemed up nice. Even some of the timing of the calls, the Steven Sims jet sweep. It's like, man, some of the plays, it's like, yo, you're getting the hang of this thing, man. You're actually keeping these defenses on their toes He's right now. Feel. And you that's can, the you can see it. That's, that, that's yeah. the thing we complained about. Yeah. Because right? it was like before you're just calling calls. And I was, and that's when we gave the analogy. Like, man, I could give you Dick LeBeau's playbook and just call calls. And it's not going to be the same effect because we don't understand the timing of it or when to do all these things. But you can see with Matt Canada now, he's starting to feel more confident. He's starting to get a better feel for this thing. And rightfully so. This is year two in this position. But... We talked about how even with that, he's had three different quarterbacks even in such a short span. But it is good to see now he's building continuity with the quarterback that we're going to hopefully be building with for the at least couple next years, right? A couple years at least. Uh, I, got, I hope I'm going to that, right? I got 15 years. Oh, okay, you already got 15? All right. I, I ain't going to go that far. I was just, at least past the contract. At least get to the second contract. We can get to that. I, I, that's a win. Today's episode. <laughs> Is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. You know, DraftKings, baby. When we talking safe, secure, reliable, when we talking about the number one app for sports betting. This is what we talking about, baby. The one and only DraftKings. And yes, they are phenomenal because they're all those things that we talked about. And more importantly, they give you a lot of opportunities to win, whether you're talking same game parlays, whether you're talking um, even their fantasy football that they have, they have a ton of options for you to get a chance to make a little moolah. And with that, they even have promo codes, which makes it even better because with this promo code, Deke, if you use the promo code MOTES, when you sign up, you make that deposit for $5, you're going to get $200 in DraftKings bonus or deposit bonus money, excuse me on that one. Which essentially is just free money for you to use trying to make more money. It's a lovely concept, isn't it? And that is also why we love DraftKings. But at the same time, Deke, unfortunately, not everybody can handle this type of lifestyle. Not everybody can handle taking chances on making money. Some people might have a gambling problem. It's sad. Deke, some people... They might even need crisis counseling. Hate to see it. Shoot. I might even know some people that need referral services. Happens. Now, being that I used to live in New York, there is a number that you can call or text if you're in the New York area. But for everybody else, though, you just got to call 1-800-GAMBLER. I said a one 